Welcome to Hip Hop Holla Back Radio. We are broadcasting live from New Jersey at BKS1 Radio. You are now tuned in to an hour of enlightenment and excitement as we spoon feed you, drop drinks on you, and put a bug in your ear about the state of hip hop. From the legends to the superstars, the before, the now, and the yet to come. <laughs> and peace and blessings to my Hip Hop Holla Back family. My big bro, the primary, the legendary, and not a secondary DJ, Cool B. Yeah, 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 yeah. And on the two turntables, it's the myth, the legend, the man, <laughs> DJ Shell. <laughs> and all the way from Long Branch, New Jersey. The slugger in the chat room is DJ Skills. Roo, roo, roo. Skills. And I am the Without. most focused hostess, the big brain, Ken Kane. Hey. Oh, and man. welcome big to Hip Hop Hollaback Radio. Yes, yes, yes. A Street B in the building. Oh, we had a little joke behind the scenes. And we're going to leave it right yeah, there yeah, where it was at. Yeah. But, uh, you guys peace are no to the good. whole world, man. I mean, like, out there, I mean, for real. I mean... Peace to everybody, man. We gonna get into this new Mr. Cheeks though in a second, oh, man. Yeah. I got because I, really? I we, no for real, really for real. For real. That's what I'm. Talking I mean, we about. not go, we not gonna even talk first today. Okay, uh, th- th- we're th- not th- even gonna talk to first let's today, to it. Mr. Cheeks. We want to stop the presses. Yeah. Stop the presses, mm. Queens. What up, Lost Boys? This is how we gonna start the show today. Cheeks, Cheeks, the whole Lost Boy fam. LB fam, hey, you can do it. Do the dance, man. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it moving, man. All right, put everybody up on this new joint. Cheeks. I'm in the same game, but play it different than the rest. The style and finesse, I'm giving them best. Up down, still militant, I rep New York City. My ladies and my girl, man, they get this money with me. Every light ain't pretty, but shit, I love the nighttime. I'm LP, I do me. I write mine, fall from my copycat. You the copycat. You in the corny ass crew and the sloppy rap. I break and work, so I get it day, day. And the game gets spitted, so I get it day, day. Walk through the shows, skateboards and clothes. When I lose, I can't complain, it's the game that I chose Yo Get it. Come to the show, watch a real pro set it. You can catch 
me in the tap and on the job is where I swerve I want the twin studio support of low and her See what I'm saying? That's that new Mr. Chicks, man. That's how we're going to start the show off. And I think we're going to start the show off like that next week, too. <laughs> yeah, I, like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Take next you back week. to the real. Take you back to. I, uh, it just okay, take you to some feel some, good. Some, take you to some, some feel really, good. Yeah, some I, feel I, good. You know, hip hop. If people don't know that, I always tell hip Candy, you can't take hip hop backwards. You got to take it forward. So, you know. Well, it's not taking that I'm saying it's taking yeah. me back, but it just put me back in that vibe. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that fun, that, that fun, yeah, that fun, that, that fun, you know, but you know, a lot of purists want hip hop to be like it was in the uh, 80s, maybe. Oh, that's what they're calling us now? Purists? No, a couple, you know, the purists, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, hip hop purists, yeah. well, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll take that. Uh, but, but at the end I of the day, I mean, it's nothing wrong with, you know, remembering the time when you got your most fun in but you got to understand that every era has their time when they got their most fun in so they're always going to remember their things you know what i'm saying so right, right. so we, we we keep it there man it's a street b we keep it 100 baby that's right how was everybody's weekend this weekend Ooh, busy baby busy busy, busy, busy. Zickers, zickers, i weekend. heard you was djing and the kids say hey, hey you're hooking up real turntables what are you doing? oh yeah that was crazy <laughs> um first shot my man rick ivory i did a party so i you know i'm unhooking the joint whatever uh -huh. I'm hooking up actually, and he sees the turntable, little kid, like about not even ten years old, maybe. Uh -huh. Oh, you a real DJ? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, see, hey. Zeta, you don't even know what time. But, it but is. what I'm saying is because they haven't seen a lot of newer DJs come out with turntables because right. you have so many uh, controllers, controllers, and gadgets and CD players that. These days and times, turntables to little kids look but foreign. But I'm impressed that he even knew exactly. that they were turntables. That's why we bought it up. Somebody yeah. told him. That's right. Nice, nice. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the way we came up, and I'm not trying to take nobody back to the past. If you ain't have no equipment, you really couldn't come out and call yourself a DJ. Mm. <laughs> if you was in the house DJing and you had little turntables in the house, you couldn't bring them out unless you knew somebody with a system or something. Because it wasn't going to be like that. You ain't just getting on nobody equipment. I know nobody let me get on equipment when I was little. They, I, I wanted to. <laughs> but they be like, yeah, shorty, come on. Move to the side, son. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't say son. They be like, shorty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shorty. He invented the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't invent it, but I, I, I sure did uh, exploit it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My uncle used to come out of it when he used to DJ. And I inherited that from him. And then I used to take it around to the hip hop parties and blast off. Word. Mm, we used to kill it. DJs used to be like the it, super, the ultimate now superstars. It is, now it is again though. It's back to that. Yeah, but DJs is DJing is the beginnings of hip hop. Every, you yeah. know, like we talked about last week, the forefathers. You know, what I mean, Africa Bambada, Cool Herc, Grandmaster Flash, DST, Grand Wizard Theodore. Jazzy J, Red Alert, all of the people that's at the forefront of hip hop are DJs. You know, the MCs came, you know, the Furious Five, the Cold Crush, the L Brothers, you know what I'm saying, Fantastic Five, Force MCs, you know, everybody, you know, all of that came, you know what I mean? But in the beginning. And you sought out, I mean, as an MC, you sought out. A DJ. Yeah, like exactly. now, it's like you're just looking for a producer no, no, and going of, to the studio. Yeah, yeah, a lot you don't of MCs even, don't even got DJs right now. Yeah, they you don't, don't even have think DJs. about no. a DJ. Yeah, come on, tell me. I mean, even though I know that he has one, tell me the name of Rick Ross DJ name. Wow, he has a DJ. Though. <laughs> tell me the name. Is of, DJ Mad right now too? Yeah, yeah no, you but like, oh, they don't even know my name. No, no, but what, I, what I'm trying to say is, in these days and times, you don't even make a DJ record. Because you, you know you got the hits, you, you know, and you know they don't even say they DJ name in the song. Like you used to be like such and such in my DJ, done it. Cause you know, the, just the, the, the shout out in the, the record. The, the climate of hip hop ain't really there right now. 
selfish and no, no. <laughs> give your DJ some shine. Yeah, yeah. You know, saying that the climate of hip hop has become, you know, um, all starish. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about the, the rapper right now. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I'm not knocking that. It's just that, like I said, the elements of hip hop is Slowly DJing, MCing, graffiti, and dancing, right? Those are the Break primary dancing. The in, primary right, things but that now it was based on. You rarely see dancers, only in videos sometimes. You rarely see graffiti on anything that's, you know, got to do with hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like. No. You don't see it like you're they supposed to. Separate the they yeah. separate the elements. You know, it's divide right. and conquer, man. Divide and conquer. Well, I guess the, Pay those, attention to the signs, the, people. Pay those attention fines, to the signs. Uh, uh, for graffiti on the walls, I guess, might be. Uh, you see a lot of graffiti, deter- but it's not like. It's, it, not, it's, not, it's not attached. Not artwork. No, yeah. it's not attached to the to game. It. See, right. you see so artwork, you but you don't see, don't see it attached. On album. Okay, on album covers and everything. Yeah. You know, like you know, you don't see it attached to the game. Or they don't and even show nobody actually doing the piece. You know? That's what I'm trying to tell you. You know what would be hot? What? A fat like a uh, graffiti tattoo, like the tattoo and graffiti. I don't know if I nobody seen anybody do that. Well, yeah, there's a lot of people with them. Yeah, yeah but you know, a lot I, of graffiti artists turned into tattoo artists. Right, yeah. but I mean, like, uh, uh, the the actual piece on them is like a graffiti yeah, artwork. Yeah, it's a lot I, of I stuff. See, yeah. I, I see a lot of, you know, guns and... Oh, yeah, prayer yeah. beads. You know, and, <laughs> and, and uh, Chinese letters and you know stuff I can't read. You but know I don't you see know. these things? Instead of, uh, instead <laughs> How come, of DJ? Because Jam? you live in New Jersey. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so if I go where, I might see it. If you was to leave here, like, leave this country... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah 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 oh yes 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 i mean hip-hop is very prevalent overseas and other places you know but it's still you know it's still the home of hip-hop is the united states i mean and they and they and they respect that you know what i mean but i was in japan like i told y'all before man it was this group i don't forgot their name but they was getting busy i ain't know what they were saying but they was saying it <laughs> they was hot the beast was hot I don't know how hot the rhymes was, but everybody was yelling. I was yelling right with them. Ah, <laughs> get busy. You know what I'm saying? But hey, hip hop is hip hop, man. Nah, yeah, hip hop oh, yeah. is hip hop. Big shout be? to everybody in Houston. Yeah. Big shout to everybody in Louisiana. We went down there this weekend. Word. Big shout to man. Who else, man? I mean, everybody. I got man. Father MC hit me on Facebook the other wow. day. Big shout to Father MC. Wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yo, way back. yo, oh, I'm just saying. Back. You know, music the madness. 90s, music yeah. madness. Bring them out, baby. Yeah. It bring them out. Y'all gotta hit my Facebook page, man. I'm telling you, music madness brings them out. But uh, I know Facebook is, you know, dwindling down for the youngsters. They like to play on Twitter and Instagram. I ain't figured all that out yet. <laughs> I got it though. I got a couple little followers on there. You know what I'm saying? I respect all the people that follow me. I'll follow you back. Word. One thing I find about social media, it's so time consuming. My goodness. It, but, by the time you, it takes you about an hour just to read. It's too much. It's too much. I need some in and out. In but and but, out, but you got to understand, do you go outside as much as you used to? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe people no. don't. It's dangerous out here. Streets is rough. <laughs> but that don't mean I have time to sit and look at other people uh, have fun yeah. on Facebook. I'm just saying, look, you got to play some media. kind of games on social media. Hey, what's up, fam? You know, look, me, Sham, and Skills be on Facebook, and we be together all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you you know, hey, Sham be hitting you up with the, the, the artwork. You know what I'm saying? He came out with the good picture with D. Uh, oh, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, from What's Happening. And for everybody that's tuned in. D from What's Happening will be calling in live yeah. on the H3B radio show. Ooh, tonight. I'm telling mama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know what's happening, hey, hey, Sham, you I, know you know I know you got something in there. I know you got something in there. You don't know what's happening. Make, you make, don't make, know make what's a reminisce happening. on what's happening was. You know what I'm saying? You got a few things on to make them reminisce. Ooh, I hear that beat in the background, though. You know what I'm saying? But... Huh. Tonight she's gonna call in and tell us what she's up to right now, you know, doing her thing out here, and 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 being relevant, man. People forget about people sometimes, you know. And she wasn't just a actress; she was large because you didn't. We didn't have a lot of black women on TV at the time, not especially kids. You know what I'm saying? You know, we watched the Brady Bunch. We watched. You know what I mean? You you had the, you had good times. You had Jeffersons and you had what's happening, right? Dread, you that was watch. it, right? 
Dre used to watch My Three Sons. Yeah, I watched My Three Sons too. <laughs> yeah, I might have I watched My Three Sons. <laughs> Brady Bunch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, you know, it wasn't that. Uh, Partridge I Dream of Genie, Partridge Family. Yeah. You know, it wasn't that many shows on TV that represented us. Yeah. And what's happening. You know, it represented us. So she's going to call in tonight. I ain't going to get into all of that because we're going to get into it when she get on the phone. But in the meantime, man, if you didn't remember, and, and Sham said he got a nice set for the ladies lady tonight. tonight. It's a lady old set. School. Yeah. Thank old school you. lady set right now. Uh, right here. Ladies could get some love at H3B today. <laughs> yeah, Thank I, you. I thought you was going to play the What's Happening so they can hear, hear the sounds. I or, thought we going to do that. Uh, oh, we're going to wait. We wait. We can wait. Know, him. Hey, that's, hey, I ain't going to mess up Sham's set. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the sluggers is in the building, baby. Yeah, hey, hey. This, this uh, is what we do. Word. You know what I mean? I'm an honorary slugger. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> you, you, you definitely, man, welcome along. You gotta, you gotta, I'm, I'm an honorary. You slug. got a gold pass. Man. There you go. <laughs> working on my platinum. Work, welcome, on, working on my platinum. You know what I'm saying? Well, if so I can just get on, a, get in on the guest anybody want to hit? Oh, nah, you, you with us? You, good. you can't came. We man. ain't saying it like we like you know, but you big brain with the orange shirt on today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People orange see it. Is all the new ball block. Festivitivist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you gotta show them a little something. Oh, sometimes? sometimes? A little shoulder, you know what I mean? That's a little shoulder. see this shoulder, you know what I'm saying? Show yeah. this shoulder right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the H3B Radio. We getting ready to blast off for the lady. Sham got a nice set for y'all for a minute. And when we come back, we're going to come back with D from What's Happening, Miss Danielle Spencer. So tune in and be entertained, Word. baby. Let's yeah. go. Peace out. We came here. I'm Sean I'm Sean, I'm Sean, I'm Sean, I'm Sean. Yeah, baby. I'm bringing this funky beat, moving it out. But I want to bring out a funky girl by the name of Candy Kane. Can't came live on the radio right now. Let's go. A Street B, let's do it. Pass the microphone to the baritone. Lyrical ass phone from George to Arizona. Feel me like a touch tone. Sweetest thing you ever known. You better go call Tyrone and use the pay phone. The Taliban sending them to the rest of them. The rest of them ain't nothing but antonyms. Unruly citizen to the bitter end. That's the kind of shit I'm in. Hustling for dividends. Me and Biz B, Fonzie, Pinky, Tuscadero. Chairman Bobby De Niro. Chiba and the Pharaoh. Cause your prototype ain't nothing but total hype We control the mic, so get the photo right uh, Never intended, my style to be reinvented Too deep in it, not to win it Give me a minute, and I'ma let the whole world know my name Candy Cane, Miss Mark, Miss Mark, you do the same Honey, Lola, dance floor And if you come for test the rap style, stop the violence and just bring it on. Why yo? Hey yo, I feel kind of melancholy. People think they really know me. I keep my rapper by me while I drop it, Daddy Shouty. I play the tone fighter for my own soul. Cause the bourgeois type of mental sucks like a black hole. But I remain a rebel face to face to start the EQ. Them devils wishing they could send me back to Mogul Tissue. Cause I've been wild since it was the juvenile Afro. Centric profile back with righteous rappers on style. That kid's a wild. So I asked the bad guy, Wookie Bandit, what's the damage? Give me the estimate then. Pray tell me when the revolution will begin. I turn on my TV, I check out Farrakhan on CNN. See, I'm like the phantom that's flying like the bird. Doing things you never heard. Plus, I come from the suburbs, where they gone. I heard you had the kind of horn. And you got your skin scorn when they were shooting on the boulevard.
looking at the rest Press to see my cutie that I caught to come caress me Desperate poo unavailable to check this Not in the masturbating yo cause that's some other shit Since I had hit the dry spell I figured I'd manicure my nails Then after blue I'm interrupted by the bell It was key talking about D Come on let's bounce tonight Wu Tang's performing at the fever And I got the backstage passes VIP status The after parties at the Marriott We in the night like glad this cool, I could do with that Give me 45 so I could wash the pussycat And marinate the body Hop in Miserahi Tighten up the afro and turn the super hardy I tell you what, I hit you up soon as I'm ready When I see your Mitsubishi out front We jet trim, trim Special, special mix. The voice gets wetter, nobody As long as you let her Do my thing with an 89 swing The dopeness I write, I guarantee delight Until the hip-hop maniac, the uptown brainiac In full effect, MC like is back Yeah, Rod Digger 99 Flip mode, outsiders Shit tight, down to the booty Yeah, check it And I, and I say what's tight Cause the sister write rhymes all day and all night New Jerusalem, in seclusion, using fake pseudonyms. I'm true bad. My travels like a schizo on two tabs with do rags hanging from my pockets. Me. Need a rap bitch to go back to pediatrics. Early left rappers like you with straight vests. So, so recognize. recognize, I make a nigga eyes come alive off a of five too fast. Disguise the camouflage. I shoot a virus out my spirals with mad priors for taking mad niggas titles. Wetting in the reservoir, lurking in the bushes, striking blows like Chesa Marco named Hassana. Warming in a bomber. In the region of Ghana Get loot like that Trump bitch Ivana Now Who be writing rhymes all night Ride nigga in the house And my plans is tight Tight He's to the ones that don't fight Ride nigga in the house And my plans is tight Wanna be on your own, but I came to stop you right in your tracks. 
reason I must be myself. What else? Well, fame hasn't got me. Souped up, selling out, sloppy or poppy. There's so much to live for. Therefore, here's more from a woman. All women keep the rumors to yourself. The overblown, homegrown, non known fools who never shown proof, let alone own. I lock the props or a hip hop pop chart notch. All your clock is my spot. Now who got the mots? I do. Why you little played out at you? I'm allergic to whack crews. The lie, the tea, the fud, the queen is up. Growing star that you never seen before. How dare those who talk? We can't have them. So make me wanna go out with the bat and the magnum. But a wise, civilized, and growing higher. Judgments from the queen, punishment is the fire. I'm here to make these fools out of liars. You must learn to step and respect the sire. Fix the fire. Fix the fire. Lots of us had it up to hear the falls of feeling fear. fear. The sound is playing like a cute digging in your ear. Mama yeah. Zulu stands for positivity, knowledge, and grace. grace. I never run my beast of them, I take it to your face. So then why'd you hope and not start a stop or maybe choke? Cause choke. it's very hard to be while I has got you in a yoga. I caught your thought, I cut it short, and no one's ever getting near. Lots of us had it up to hear. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Angie is what they say. I got with the She's right on time. She calls herself Miss Superfly. I said, sure, the pearl is the one with the eye. She's guaranteed to hypnotize. Hey, Angie B. Hey, hold up, hold that's up. me. We got a caller. Caller from the 585. State your name. Where you calling from? 585. Hello? Who is this? Hey, yo, this old Trace from the 585. Okay, old Trace. What's up, baby? What you calling about? You calling to talk? Or you, or, or you listening to the show? You checking out the show? Or you trying to spit a hot 16? I'm trying to spit that hot 16, my man. All right, let's spit it, man. Cause I got, I think I got somebody on the other line. Hold on, hold on. Give me, give me, give me one minute. I think this is uh, D. Hold on a second. Caller from the 818. State your name. Where you calling from? Caller from the 818. State your name. Where you calling from? Oh, hey. All right. Hold on. We go. How are you? I'm all right. We gonna bring this thing down over here. Okay, uh, okay. call in front of 85, what, 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 what man was from? 585, call back in one minute, fam. Uh, we got to get ready to do an interview, call back in one minute, I'm going to let you bust that high 16. But on the phone right now, we have Dan, Miss Danielle Spencer from the hit TV Woo. show, What's Happening? Yeah. All right. Woo. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear the song. Ah, uh, yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> This is how we do it up here. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. We just had to do that for you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, of course. Of course. We had to uh, make sure that you were welcomed properly. Skills. You know what I'm saying? Feeling so, that phone. <laughs> yes, yes. We're we, we going to turn this speaker down in here, and then we're going to get this thing started. So how have you been? Doing great. How about yourself? All right, I'm good. I know. I told her, I told the crew that we talked the other day, and you were ready mm-hmm. to call in and let people know what you've been up to for the last umpteenth of years. <laughs> you know? I know it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long, long time. time. And for the people that don't know who she is, I mean, she was like the own, like her and Thelma and 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 li- little Janet Jackson was the only black girls that was on TV back then. That you know, was it. That was it. It that was. It, was it, it wasn't nobody else it, re- representing black women on TV as children. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was a right. couple of teachers. It was you know your you know your moms on what's happening and you know the, um Miss Evans and everybody else. But yo, your role was so important to the upcoming of the young women of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Beca- I know. Because like, I was actually the first child black actress that well female actually. Oh wow! Um, because of course they had male ones on, you know, because I believe it was um, that the courtship of Eddie's father and oh, yeah. Marco Paz, you know, and all of them. But um, yeah, so that was you know really an honor to have been able to do that. And then of course Janet came afterwards, and Thelma was already an adult. I'm sorry, Bernadette. Yes. But, um, <laughs> it was definitely an honor to have that role and and also to have such an impact and. 
to see how far it's come today. Yes. You know, it's just amazing. And I mean, there's just so many black actors and actresses now. So on that hand, it's good. Yes, but now your show many people still didn't know that it was based on Cooley High. So to get your role, did you have to watch Cooley High to get your role, or you just went in and read for the part, just not even knowing it was based on Cooley High? I had no idea. Um, <laughs> that was kind of an after fact that someone told me. But I, I don't believe I was old enough, because if it was rated R, yeah. I wasn't able to see those movies. Yeah, that's what I, that's what um, I was so asking. I didn't know yeah, anything about it. Um, the way I played it was, you know, actually after having some coaching from um, my acting instructors, um, that was just the way I decided to play the role as just like a bratty sister. You know, the sister I always wanted to be, but I, I couldn't be because I didn't have an older brother or sister. <laughs> okay. But I knew enough because I had cousins. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so it just seemed to come naturally to me. <laughs> hey, you played that role, too, because everybody knew D. She won her peanut butter sandwich, and she's going to tell mom. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's and it. Money. That's it. And hey, get your money. money. And get that money. dollar. Yeah, yeah, get that yeah. dollar. Get that dollar, yeah. that whatever it was. Back then. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah. And, and, and uh, one more thing. Um, it was so you know refreshing to understand that you was from, uh, from Jersey. I, I didn't know that um, part. I didn't know that. I, well, are you from Jersey or you just no, stayed in Jersey? I'm from New York. I'm okay. from the Bronx. Okay, I, there you I go. I don't know where that came from. That's what I'm I saying. I've never even been to Trenton, but I'm sure it's a nice place. I've never been to Trenton. Um, I'm from the Bronx. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that was, the, I saw that on Wikipedia, I think, a while back. And I was just like, what? How did that even come up? Hey, somebody, but, um, somebody, somebody, somebody Wikipedia yeah. you. So they, they they said, listen, we represent her from Trenton. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I didn't, I, I didn't even know that. I'm finding that out today. So you know, I'm I'm misinformed, but that's why we have these talks. That's why. Right, right. So I'm all the way from the Bronx. They, hey, yeah. Bronx, the BX, the home of hip hop. Uh, all right now candy cane is the uh female host on the show she's gonna ask you a couple I have questions a question. uh, since, there, since there weren't any other child actresses especially african-american like what mm -hmm. inspired you who, who inspired you to become uh an actress like an um my stepfather was an actor um and he attended an acting school which is the same one that i attended and as a matter of fact a lot of the actresses back in the day, attended the same school, which is just mm. what a coincidence, um, like Kim Fields and Chip Fields and Lauren Tilton Jacobs, um, Brene Watson, she was on like first Prince of LAS. Um, there were several back then that we all came from this one school. And um, so it's just being around my stepfather and being around the other adults, they mm. had a children's class. And, you know, before we knew it, we were all in acting school as well. And it was just a lot of fun. You know, one of those things, your parents expose you to a lot of things, you know, see what sticks when you're younger. And that's just one of the things that I really love. And do you still keep in touch with any of the old cast members? Definitely. Well, there are two of us, you know, still living. Um, mm -hmm. Taywood and also Ernest, so my brother and Dwayne. And I do still speak to them. As a matter of fact, I just spoke to Ernie today. And uh, hey, what I spoke to him last week. So yeah, we we speak quite often. Definitely. I had such a crush on him. Oh, look at look at talking about talking about a crush. A lot of girls, there, a lot of women. <laughs> what they talking about? That ain't much happening. So. <laughs> That was bad. Nah, hey, hey, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Hayward was the man back then. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. hey. And the clean afro. With the afro. The afro. Yeah. The whole hey, thing. They yeah. don't understand. The afro was power back then. The afro was power. The afro was power. <laughs> they bringing it back. They bringing it back. You know, I had to braid my joint up. I had to braid my joint up. But the afro was power. <laughs> it was. It definitely was. So we hear you are a veterinarian now. Yes. You're speeding up the um, clock. I always, you know, had a love for animals. And, you know, when I was, um, I guess, in high school, the parts were kind of drying up a little bit. So it, it just seemed kind of natural for me to just focus on school. And before I knew it, it was time to go to college. So I figured that I would, you know, just devote the next, you know, umpteen years to my education. Because I figured, you know, television would always be there. And, um... Once I went to vet school, 
um, I graduated and I said, well, I'll dedicate maybe another 10 years and see if I really feel like doing this 10 years from now. And, and I did. And, you know, now it's 21 years and I'm still a vet. So wow. I think, um, you know, it's been good because it's been able to give me a career and it's also something I love. So it's not like work. Um, but at the same time, I can still, you know, do say acting or something if I wanted to. Of course, right nowadays you have to create a lot of your projects, but. Yeah. You know, definitely, that's still an option. Oh, okay, and now with with Hollywood and you and other child actors, is it the typecast thing that keeps you out of the movies or the future TV shows? What 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 I'm do you think? Sure what do you think? It's, it's, yeah, it, it definitely could have something to do with that because I think if someone is in a role and if they play it well enough, they are, um, you know. I guess, linked to that role forever, and you never forget them as that role, and it is sometimes difficult to make that transition, but, you know, sometimes you just don't get the the chance to make that transition either, and also with all of the new actors and actresses coming up, I mean, they're all, you know, wonderful and talented, and sometimes it's just easier to start with a clean slate, you know, someone who doesn't have that past. Yeah, now, have you read for any parts recently or in the last couple of years? Not recently. I've really been, um, you know, trying to develop my own career in terms of my reality show. We've been, you know, trying to go through a lot of rights and rewrites. I mean, this has really been a project that's taken years to develop. Not not lots of years, but maybe about five years to develop. So really trying to get that script right and, you know, and then also trying to branch off and see what other interests I have, like, you know, doing the clothing line and, and so forth. Which we're um, about so, to get into. Yeah, but no parts recently. I'm trying to think of the last part that I did read for, as you can see, it was some time ago. <laughs> um, yeah, because I just, you know what, to be honest with you, in terms of the agents, my mom was my agent, so a lot of it was just kind of word of mouth. So yeah. if I heard of a part that I thought was interesting, then I would go in and read, but I wouldn't just go for any part, Darby Crowley, just because, you know what I mean? So you don't never so see... If it was something interesting, I would, I would read for it. Yeah, but check this out. You don't never see, like, like sometimes, you know, like, as a DJ, and I'm in the party, I see another DJ DJing, I be, like, wishing I was up there DJing. Like, you don't never look at a movie and say, I could have just blew that part out. That's my part right there. You don't never see that, say that sometimes? I don't think that I have to be honest with you because I really feel like you know if it was supposed to be mine, it would have been. No, mine. no, 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 no. I, mean, I ain't saying I mean, you ran I mean, for it. I don't it. know why. I mean, I would look at it and I'm saying, oh, you know, that's really good, and I enjoy the actor or actress that's playing it. I mean, honestly, I really don't think I've ever said that. Oh no, no. See, because I'm I mean, not I saying like I'm, I hate the DJ that's up there. I'm saying like. I, I know that the kind of crowd that it is, I mean, that it would have been tailor-made for me to be in that party in that situation. Like, so you looking at the movie and you see a person come up that playing in the movie, you'd be like, oh, that's that part was tailor-made for me. I don't know why I should have read for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get that itch. You don't you, you don't get that itch every now and then to, just to just get out there? I have not. I'm, I honestly <laughs> haven't. I'm, I'm trying to think hard. Like, if that has been a well, part a, where I've actually... That. Well, that means you're truly um, happy then. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, like life, you just letting life, life come full circle Hollywood. and, and, and you know, enjoying your job as a veterinarian and you got your book oh, out good. and your clothing line. We want, we want you to tell yeah, people about the clothing line. So many things. Like, a lot of projects have, you know, come up in the meantime. And I did um, write a book about uh, three years ago. And it was about, you know, growing up in the industry just a little bit. And then also about an injury that I had that kind of changed my whole life and really my whole perspective on life, you know, making me appreciate things more and, you know, I guess relying more on God to guide my life, you know, so to speak. So that was really the first main project. And then, of course, after that was the reality show All Grown Up, you know, trying to get that together. My clothing line, the Danny Collection, just recently uh, we developed, uh, I was me and my husband, um, David, and, you know, that's been going really well, too. It's definitely a labor of love. You know, I, I love fashion, so, you know, it just seems to be the next step. Uh-huh. And um, also, you know, we have another project coming up. We're having, a, like, a, a fundraiser, 
in uh, September, September 20th, um, called Recon. And we're going to have a lot of kind of the old icons, you know, from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Oh, as well as cool. some, some recent stars. And they'll be signing autographs, and that's going to be in Queens, New York. Oh, in Queens? So, yeah, so, yeah, in Queens, oh, yeah. Nice. But we'll definitely get that information to you, because yes, that's going to be a lot yeah, of fun. You, yeah, you know anything yeah, you yeah. need the show to do, we're going to shoot it out there, we're going to pump it up for you, and we're going to support you, because, Please you know, do. I can hear it in your and voice. Like all- that you're real happy about where you are in life right now. And that's a good thing to show young people that, you know, you don't have to be always in front of the camera all the time to be happy. You know, right. You sure don't. And <laughs> certainly not to shine. I mean, you can shine anywhere you are at any position you are, but it is, you know, about being happy and sometimes, you know, accepting a lot of things. I mean, it's, you know, everybody is not going to be, um, you know, one of these huge movie stars like Angelina Jolie. Everyone's not going to be, you know, like that. There's, you know, going to be different people filling different positions, and yours is going to be just as good as anyone else's. It's just do it to the best of your ability. Now, and, now, you know, I think that's definitely one of the lessons, you know, that I learned. Now, um, I know you're you from know, the... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. I know you're from the Bronx. Do you listen to hip-hop music? Oh, Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Who, who's your favorite fact, artist? So good. I'm sorry. Who's your favorite artist? Well, I would definitely have to say Big Daddy Kane was <laughs> one of my Uh-oh. favorites. I mean, there was there was a couple, you know, Kumo D, Melly Mel. Um, oh, you so, got yeah, the, there. Was, um, you, hey, that's a strong. That's a strong. I love Like you know, of course, that was like the first song everyone loved. So yeah, I love to pop music. All right. See that, and and see that now. That's that's just another beautifulness of a thing that I see about you. You know, you know, I got funny ways with my words, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, the names that you name was real like hip hop, like like people call Iconic. the purists that they named those same names, and that, and for you to say that, and you're from the Bronx, you know, you get that grade a platinum hip-hop pass right now you thank, know? You, thank you i appreciate it, I appreciate it. yes yes they yes. will probably be laughing at me right now <laughs> like you can't remember some of these names but i can remember exactly <laughs> are you listening to any of the new hip-hop now um let's see uh I, well i do like nas um okay, okay. i like okay. his music Oh, hey, you I do have to admit, I like some of Kanye West music too, and okay. you know some of Jay Z stuff. Yeah, that, and I, I think um, that's really about it. I can't think of any others that I like to listen to. It's a oh, hey, it's a beautiful so thing. Honestly. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, I'm I'm smiling right now because of the, the 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 stuff that's coming out your mouth right now. To, you know, this show we represent. You know, all hip hop. We represent the past, the present, and the future. But Correct. you know, the names that you have named shows that you, yeah shows that you've done your homework oh, out there and you got good great a great taste in hip hop oh good great and then taste. what about common i just remember another oh one. common right, nope, that's right. my man everybody yeah, you yeah. said is re- real I'm close to me and dear to my heart you know what i'm saying so at, at yeah. the end of the day can is going to give you some parting words right now well we would like the the viewers would like to know where can they uh purchase your book through the fire journal of a tra- child star. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so basically, everything that I have will be on the Danny Collection dot com. So it's T H E Danny D A N I Collection dot com, and my books on there, and the the T shirts that we have for now. Um, everything is on there. Um, but in terms of, um, you can always go to Facebook, of course, and I'm on there, Danielle Spencer on Facebook, and then we have the Danny Collection on Facebook. We have um, Recon.com, ReconEntertainment.com on Facebook as well. And um, there's even the What's Happening page. You know, we had to update it because it hadn't been updated in a couple of years. So that's on there as well. And just, you know, we really want viewers or listeners to like our pages because, of course, you know, that makes a lot of difference, especially, you know, sponsors and stuff. Absolutely. And last thing, would you ever consider being part of a What's Happening 
I know the cast is, mm-hmm. you know, most of the cast is gone, but maybe some type of remake of the sh- the show in a movie or a TV show or something. Yeah, like I think it would be. I think that would be incredible good. if they could do that because you know it is, you know, definitely one of the shows from the beginning of you know black sitcom. So I, I think it would be wonderful if they did that. Of course, they couldn't use me personally as the D, but. Um, you know, as a consultant or something, that would be wonderful. And I know Ernest and Haywood feel the same way because we love that show. I mean, it, it basically created us. So, um, yeah, I would definitely like that. All right. And your clothes will be in uh, a lot of stores or you could just have select stores? Right. We're going to um, be in, like, Macy's mostly. Um, that's the store that we're, we're aiming for. Okay, all right. Yeah, I've always liked me. Too. <laughs> it's kind and of an everybody's story, you know, anyone can stop there. Yeah, that's what it is. They, they got the Macy's yeah. in the mall. Macy's in the mall. That's right. They are everywhere. Yes, baby. So we thank you for calling in, sweetheart. I mean, oh, thank you it's, it's so been a pleasure experience. for you to even call into the H3B radio show. Yes, we I have mean, been honored and blessed. We have been honored and blessed to have you here tonight. And you know thank you're welcome you. to call in anytime or come in. I, I'm going to try to get you in here live so people can see how I beautiful know. you are. Know, you know, know what I'm saying? Nice. So, you know, they're seeing your pictures online right now. But I want you to come in here live in the studio and show them how beautiful you are. Okay. Maybe we can we'll get you to drop happen. a 16, too. Cause I, know you, I know you got a, a, a rhyme from back in the day, a rap from back in the day. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Miss Danielle okay. D. Spencer, y'all. Thank Give her a hand. All right. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Wow. See, life has come full circle, man. We used to love watching what's happening. And D calling in on our show today. Yeah, would you ever think come on, that this you would have a conversation with her? Yes, um, man. Like years later. Yeah, man, come on, man. Life yeah. is beautiful. That's what I'm trying to say. And you can hear it in her voice that she's enjoying life right now. You know what I mean? And that goes to show young girls, you don't always have to be out there in front of the camera doing whatever. You you know, trying to be a star, whatever the case may be. Just let your life come full circle and find happiness within yourself you know what i mean because and she's a lover of hip-hop and yeah and animals and yeah. and, and 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 she know her hip-hop and, and and god you know a veterinarian man you're dealing with animals every day you know what i mean so you always gonna have a job because everybody got pet i mean not everybody uh, not but everybody. almost <laughs> everybody. Can, candy ain't got no pets candy ain't got yeah. no pets oh know. big shout out to everybody in the chat big shout out to uh sandra from texas of course, Mikey Barslow. Striker. Is that Strike, <laughs> strike Force? If it is, let me know. Um, Vashon, uh, let me get it right. Quones, Quones. Hey, yeah, we know who he is. Vashon, what up? <laughs> and who, 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 who else on the chat? Everybody uh, on the chat? Yeah, who else? Uh, we got some guests. Guests 4691, but you know when you oh, don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got, yeah, you got 28, 19. Oh, they got, num- we got numbers on the chat. We got numbers on the chat. All right. Well, look, oh, Star, too, man. Hey, hey. Well, Sham said, listen, man, you know. He got to do. He got. Okay. He got his set to get into. We gonna get into this music, man, because you know it's all about that hip hop, baby. Y'all stay tuned. Be entertained. H three B ready. You ready? B3 you ready? Is you ready? Ooh, this that new and this was the remix. Me putting it down. You know we had to do the remix. You know we had to do it. I used to put them birds. Yeah. You know we had to do the remix. Town. You know we had to do it. She said, yo, new shit pumping. You make us so proud. Come on, come on. We've been wanting something this good for a while. Hey, yo, Mace, what's up, man? But I'm Call not from 585. Call back at 55. The world's been waiting for this. 855. You know. Now all you hear is New York this, New York that Let's keep it real, motherfuckers, I bought New York back G-Unit in the stew, dip set, two facts I even got Mason, 9 five, Puff on the track Running with the classic feel, 9-5 Max Sneak this or tweet this, no replies, you whack 
tables done turned like a DJ gig. Play your hater, I am doing it big. Troy yeah. Ave got the streets in a frenzy, though. Frenzy I dope. bought the spotlight back, you should thank me, no. I'm coming up, though, my first still on the flow. All my stones flow this, you see me glow. Now here's what it probably happened if you mad at this. You might get yourself shot or make me fuck your bitch. Either way, I'm busting. The end all discussion is the key mix, and I'm that nigga. Stop saying yo. Want you, want you? Turn this thing up a little bit. Yeah. For those who've been wondering what's going on with Joel Ortiz, it's a lot, man. A lot. Feels like I finally found my house slippers. My mind was going, I stood around them. Wearing this poker face like I'm holding aces. That so wasn't the case. This business is such a business, don't take it personal. It's more than these beats and letting verses go. Don't end up locked in and wildin'. Like a deaf person buying a roll, he better watch what you signin'. Freedom is overrated until they take it. When it's gone, feel like nothing can replace it. Shaking the hand that's feeding you, but you hate it. Disappointed in me is cause of your weight. Just imagine this man with your career in his hands. Giving a fuck about your fans, he just looking at that black and white. Seeing you ain't sell too well. You trying to tell him that you was on an indie that wasn't acting right. He don't care, them numbers fed up his appetite. Your past just fed you twice like a hermaphrodite. You watching the twin who ain't half as nice. Faced with the choice of giving in or hit the pad and right. But see, the fans can't know. So you leaking freestyles and you nailed that flow. Kids leaving out of venues like he killed that show. Screaming yow everywhere, but you ain't on that though. Hey yo, your man got work? Nah, my nigga ain't got shit either, man. man. Fuck going on out here, man. I go zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Keep it a hundred minutes zero, nigga, real shit. Like my favorite white girl went on a field trip. Can't nobody find her when they do that bitch's real hit. And they still try and charge a nigga 43. I mean, 43? Come on, dogs, this is me. My man said he doing a little special 38. Sell me that shake and bake, he'll meet my special 38. I don't play, I'm on the grind, boy. Why the fuck y'all think I rhyme when I wanna rhyme, boy? Nigga, take his time, boy. My boy is a nine, boy. Coffee grind, stamp, rubber band, grab a coffee fiend, spin they stamps, I'm popping rubber bands, house, boy. You ain't never leave that house, boy. I'm out here with my gang, I ain't Talking about the house, boy. But they got some shit in common. Both rap niggas, some rhyming, some embalming. We could fuck being on some chill shit. They asked me why I stuck with Rim, cause she a real bitch. We on that Smith and Wesson taking still shit. That Albany projects, half a mil shit. Oh lord, watch your mouth, put in work, nigga. Work, nigga. That just make me put you in the dirt quicker. Sell raps like they sell cracks. I'm a verse dealer. Niggas talking about they wear the crown. I did it first, nigga. Oh lord. Somebody called and said the rap game needs us. They talk. Fuck it, they talked about G. Still hate. Yeah, they hated on G. The real way. They talked about G. This one here is for all non believers. They talk. Fuck it, they talked about G. Still hate. Yeah, they hated on G. The real way. You know, they talked about G. I could care less about a rapper and his entourage. I don't give a fuck about a phantom. It's not in my garage. Quick to take a project, bitch, to a travel lodge. Fuck her to some Mary J. Blige. Get out of Dodge. Dirty nigga. But all my dope clean, though. And I got fish scale for sale. Fuck you, mean ho. You niggas crack under pressure. Tim Tebow. The shots didn't hit, and you was at the free throw. I let my heat go. Pull off with my seat low. Girl smoking, I keep asking banks, where do we go? Still with the shit. Still searching for a kilo. I'm the reason why these niggas peeping out they peephole. Somebody called and said the rap game needs them. They talk. Fuck it, they talked about G. Still hate. Yeah, they hated on G. The real way. They talked about G. I'm tired of talking about how I'm this and that. How I'm saving the game and how I'm spitting crack. How I'm shaving the cane and how I'm flipping packs. They say I had a gift of rap. Last year, Christmas time, I barely had a gift of rap. Clearly, y'all missed the facts. I'm as nice as J. Cole, but all that big and black. I'm the reincarnation of pun big and stacks. 
I'm as ill as that beef between Kiss and Mac. Yo, matter of fact, I'm like Drake on steroids. Kendrick without the curly fade. Ross with a six pack. Brooklyn nigga, but Jersey Rays. Pac without a hologram. I'm equivalent to Hover on a dollar van. I don't think you got it, fam. Fat Joe Nas and Cam. Mad blow chopping grams. Ab soul Dr. Damn. Dre whipping pots and pans. Yay with the clock in hand. You put that all together, what you got is ran. Niggas can't stop the man. Can't stop the dawn. Switch to the vodka wrong. And I won't sit till every clip in a chopper gone. Niggas wanna grapple with me, I don't see an octagon. I'm an ex felon, rap divas can't shock the con. Yes, yes, yes. Call it from the 585. Call it from the 585. It's, it's the 585. It's Joe Chase. I'm trying to spit that shit. All right, yeah, man. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's do it, baby. We're going to bring the music down. We're going to bring the music down. See what you got. Thank you for calling back, man, because you know we had a, a very important interview going on, and I appreciate the love and you calling back. So, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let me know when to go. Let's right go. Ahead. Go ahead. Hey, yo, I said, I'm trying to get fitted like MJ. Three seconds left on the fourth quarter. My niggas, they whipping that water. And I'm in the trash at your orders. I got my foot slipping. That shit was a grip. And I spit that shit all on my daughter. They said that Miami got all of the hoes. Let's take a trip down to Florida. I said, I'm young, flying. What's poppin', nigga? If they let it bomb me, it's just the topping, nigga. Uncle Chip, nigga, go shopping, nigga. I'm talking about a whole hot topping, nigga. Shut boys. What's shopping with you? Point a brother out when I chop, nigga. Somebody tell A. Hey, Say, hey, the only one with a block, nigga. If you fucking brought money, then I get that. I took a little loss. I got to get back. Pull up the phone because I sit back. This big ass funny, no kick back. I'm like, wait a little minute, I'm afraid. I'm about to take flat like a raven. I keep having bitches like raven. Cause one day your nigga gon' make you. And I'm like, huh? I cook. I went from the left to the right. My nigga, my wrist is a right. My nigga, don't shoot, they don't fight. I'm young. I'm fly. I buy me one, then I took flight. I'm trying to get faded like Mike. So pull me a four to strike. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, hey. I'm feeling the styles. You got a couple styles up in there. <laughs> what's, hey, what's your name again, fam? It's Old Trace. Old Trace. Where you from again? Rochester. Oh, Rochester, the building, man. All right, you represented tonight, man. Thanks for calling in. How can people get at you on your Twitter or your Facebook or your Instagram? Hey, my Instagram, Old Trace. My Twitter, Old Trace1 at Old Trace1. Gmail at Old Trace1. You know? All right, that's what it is, fam. Hey, listen, call in any time, man. You're welcome to call into the show. I appreciate you calling in tonight, you know what I mean, because I knew you had to wait. You had that was sitting for a minute. You was probably sitting in the car like, yo, yo, when I'm going to get a chance to get this off, man? <laughs> <laughs> so it's all good. Call in, you know what I mean, every Monday. We right here, 8 to 9, all right? That's a fact. That's what it is. All right. All right. Shut up. Shut up. Woo. Okay. Man, it's been a wonderful show today, baby. <laughs> hey, Mikey, Mikey Barzo. We got you, baby. We in the building. Preferably without those die packs. It's Mr. Simplistic, not materialistic. Mr. If you dig me, cool. If not, then here's my answer. So kiss it. I don't sound like no one got my mind, so I have to speak it. Some say their money's got wings, while mine's a paraplegic. But that's about to change. I'm gonna say that it's ironic. After Operation Broke, that's how my money's so bionic. Same, same funky, same balls low. But hey, do me a favor when you honor at your boy. Just address me as he majors. Now I'm bugging balls. And yes, I'm still rolling with sinner but, but call me what you want, just don't call me late for dinner Cause brother gotta eat right now, my bank account is zero So spread that word about your boy so I can get to Nero I need money, lots and lots of money I dream of money, lots and lots of money I want money, lots and lots of money, lots of money, lots of money. <laughs> Bad at selection Live and direct How the suck is myself for trying to get me Carry on tradition. Carry on tradition. I'm static, and I'm a select. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, when you come through. Carry on tradition. Keep it solid. Yeah. Cause we all about that knowledge. 
Besides the fact I knew you never been as swank as me I like that, until I shine I sit patiently So like that, I'm folding back, scrolling back and roll the fatty smokes at me Not different over them, had them thinking what they probably should've did before them All my girls is roaring, four and under the nails It ain't about the Ralph though, tell your horse, chill Don't need the grill to feel like I'm real If he can't see the light then shine, he'll thicker still. steel Six figure deals, what the hell? Since the age of six I knew the name would ring a bell And six more years to wonder what the top would tell That 666 Still no signs of a 360 deal Neither did I sell myself Wreck and spend it by they sell The DJ sell myself for Reflex off the reflex Before I told flex Drop that set jacks On the next New York best This shit gets how stick around And he coming for the vets now Can it We could test Maybe if he put the spot aside He could confess But nonetheless It's fundamental We need to fundamental Wise with the momentum So rise on this momentum So pour on your incredentials Watch to you potential Imported the potent diamond and fuel Respect my conglomerate the way I'm rocking to it's such a prominent tune But I won't get my roses till I lie my tune Flowers I was such as myself for trying to carry on Carry on tradition Carry on tradition I'm steady And I'm a selectee Yes it all Uh oh Shit Damn, trying to put in that slugger work. Yeah, trying to put Damn, in that, sl- trying to put in that slugger work. I yeah. truly enjoyed today. Maybe I'm a little biased because there was a lot of females. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was a good set. Sham did the, he did, dedicated the first half of the show to the female. Second half of the show to the to the, to the, to the new, new artist. To the new artist. Opened yeah. up with Mr. Cheeks. That was what was up. Yeah, Mr. Cool. Cheeks, man. Mikey Barslow. Bar slow. Mikey Barslow. Slow. Yeah. This was a good show. This was a real hip hop show. And D from What's Happening, son. Word. Come on, man. Hey, hey, I forgot hey, hey. to ask about Little Earl. <laughs> you know, he, uh, he's one of the biggest uh, record collectors. Uh, far yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. He provided okay. the um the, uh, the the joints for the Black Dynamite soundtrack. Okay. 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 All right. So you know what I mean? Yeah, Listen, man, you, you learn something every day. But man, for everybody out there that's tuned in tonight, we hope you enjoyed yourself. We hope you were entertained. We hope you learned something. We hope you might have heard something to spark your brain to do something word, else. Word, word. Man, that's why we're here. Every Monday, 8 to 9, we going to bring it to you all the time. And it was truly the before, the now, the now, and, and the, the yet, yet to come. come. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Boss Low was the yet to come, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boss Low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoon feet and you and dropped I, the on you. Uh, 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 a 16 bar spit, even though that sounds like about 24 oh, yeah, bars. That yeah, was yeah, about yeah, 24 yeah, bars. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yet to come, we got it all. All right, y'all. So next week, man, y'all know how we doing it. You know, we coming in here on Monday. We going to set it off. Yeah. But uh, mm. we on a seven-day so break. So we do it as we always do it. Yeah. Hip, hop, hop holla back. back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>